Hello and welcome to Networking Fundamentals by Yamaha Commercial Audio Systems. I'm Pat Kalani. Networks are becoming a bigger part of our professional lives, and with good reason. Digital audio networks dramatically simplify our traditional snakes, splitters, audio distribution, and computer integration. Networks enable us to remotely control our mixers and monitor the health of our amplifiers. And it isn't just the audio world experiencing this technological conversion. If you look in the typical production environment today, you may notice lighting control and intercoms, both converting from a point-to-point -point wiring system into a network-based system. Given the proliferation of networks in our professional world, we would be well served to not just become familiar with this technology, but to embrace it and make it one of our core competencies. And it is with that in mind that we've developed this video series. So before we get underway, let's set some expectations on what we're going to learn. First of all, you don't have to become an IT professional to work with an audio network. If I can make an analogy, many of us have learned how to solder over the years, but that didn't make us an electrical engineer. Likewise, we believe there is a subset of skills that we can learn from the IT world that will be helpful without overcomplicating the matter. To keep things simple, our lesson plan will start by examining networking concepts in the familiar home network environment. I think many of us have had experience setting up and maintaining a home network, and that'll give us a common ground where we can take these theoretical concepts, apply them, and turn them into practical skills in short order. If you really learn how your home network operates, I think you'll find the same rules of the road apply, whether you're on a home network, an audio network, or a corporate network. Now, to set the stage, let's take a look at the evolution of a home network and see what the typical home network might include today. Home networks often started by connecting two devices, say a desktop computer and a printer. When laptops came around, we wanted to share that printer, so the laptop joined the network. Our dial-up internet connections became high-speed broadband connections, and that was shared on the same network. Eventually, Wi-Fi technology allowed the laptop to become a wireless connection. Our home entertainment systems joined the network to update TV guides, link game systems, or download and stream music and movies. Our flip phones migrated to smartphones, which are typically tethered to the network. And today, your home phone may be delivered by voice over IP. So for those of you who thought a home network would be too simple a place to start, perhaps you haven't given yourself enough credit for what you've accomplished so far. Now, once we've learned our core networking skills, we can push on to some tips and tricks that help you optimize your network, such as quality of service, VLANs, and IGMP snooping. So our goal in all of this is to help you gain the skill to design, set up, and maintain your own audio network. We also hope you'll gain the skill and confidence to work with an IT professional when needed. On an installed system, it's pretty common to integrate with the larger property network, especially to gain internet access or to share the existing network of Wi-Fi base stations. The more capable you are, the more likely you are to get their cooperation, which is a huge help. So with that said, let's get started. 